In 1926, Dr. Carter G. Woodson created Negro History Week. Fifty years later, it had expanded to Black History Month. I say, let's celebrate African history each and every day. Listen to 28 Days to Rekindle the Fire by Judith C. Lavelle. How can I highlight my history in a month? You don't know me. No, you really don't know me. Open your eyes and see if I settle for a month and the coldest, shortest month at that. I couldn't possibly tell you of all those strong black men and women like Imhotep, first father of medicine born 2980 B.C., or of Queen Hatshepsut, a royal, who launched a women's liberation movement over 3,500 years ago, or of Mohammed Torre, builder and ruler of the magnificent Sangay Empire, or of Makeda, queen of Sheba, mentioned in two holy books, or of Zenobia, one of the richest women of the East, or of Bilal, first holy man of Islam, or of Queen Nzinga, her powerful armies kept Portuguese invaders at bay for more than 50 years, How can I highlight my history in a month? My ancestors spun and wove cloth, performed surgeries and charted the stars, erected pyramids and built universities, made cosmetics and perfumes, created the mysteries in great temples and tombs, knew the world was round, adorned the fez and the crown thousands of years before Christopher Columbus discovered he was lost. Why, if I settle for a month... And the coldest month at that, I couldn't possibly tell you of all those determined black men and women like Eugene Chen, foreign minister to China, or of Shaka Zulu, one of the most remarkable men to ever fill a throne, or of Tipu Tib, greatest of all African trailblazers, or of Ya Asantua, the fighting spirit of the Asante people, or of Mbalia Kamara, Ghanaian celebrate her death as a symbol of life, or of Alexander Pushkin, constructor of the Russian, yes, Russian literary language, or of St. Benedict the Moor of Sicily, people traveled miles for his holy blessing. How can I highlight my history in a month? My people and African people are so talented, so beautiful, so creative, so inventive, so complex, so diverse, so spread out all over this universe. Why, if I settle for a month and the coldest, shortest month at that, I couldn't possibly tell you of all those courageous black men and women like Toussaint Lanverture, under his skillful rule, Haiti rose out of chaos, or of Mary Ellen Pleasant a businesswoman instrumental in changing biased laws in San Francisco, or of Vicente Guerrero, freed his country Mexico, then freed the slaves, or of Jack Johnson, the fighter who knocked out the notion of a great white hope, or of Prince Hall, a Barbadian, founder of the Prince Hall Masonic Lodge, or of Elizabeth Jennings, challenged the public transportation system by refusing to move 100 years before Rosa Parks, or Bessie Coleman, first black female to become a licensed pilot. How can I highlight my history in a month? I am a child of the world's first people, a descendant of Lucy, the offspring of the great ancient Africans whose kings and queens rule the Nile in style. Oh, yes, they did. Why, if I settle for a month, And the coldest, shortest month at that, I couldn't possibly tell you of all those exceptional black men and women like John Rock in the 1800s became not only a dentist, but a medical doctor and a lawyer. Edmonia Lewis, born of a Chippewa mother and a proud African-American father, her artwork is forever free. Or Chevalier de Saint-Georges, great violinist, pianist, poet, composer, actor, and more. Or of Granville T. Woods, he dedicated his life to developing a variety of inventions to improve railway safety. 
or of Arthur Schomburg, born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, he collected evidence of our great black past, or of Henry Box Brown, who literally shipped himself to freedom via U.S. Express Mail, or of Madam C.J. Walker, who made millions working the kinks out, or of Ralph Ellison, author of an American masterpiece. He wrote, I am an invisible man simply because people refuse to see me. How can I highlight my history in a month? As a strong, proud black woman, I can't begin to highlight the adventures of my own children in a month much less the adventures of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of my children's role models. But what I can do in 28 days, 29 in leap year, is build a fire amidst the cold and each year rededicate my life to the rekindling of that fire that will burn deep down in my soul with great intensity, brilliance, power, and pride, not just for 28 days, 29 in leap year, but 365 days a year.